Welcome to Message Magic Step by Step Training. Step 4 Setting up groups within Skype. First, you need to enable contact groups. Skype offers you the ability to organize all your Skype contacts into groups. This is a great feature and adds to the simplicity of Message Magic. The following steps are best completed before you start sending out messages through Message Magic. First, log into Skype. Click View. Then click Contact Groups. Then click Enable Contact Groups. Why add groups? The best reason for adding groups is to be organized from the start, and groups will help you do that. When you enable groups in Skype, you'll see one group is for all contacts and another is for ungrouped. All contacts that are added are automatically placed into all contacts and ungrouped folders simultaneously. You should keep the ungrouped folder empty by dragging and dropping contacts from the ungrouped folder into specific folders that you create. Here are the steps for adding groups. First, open groups by clicking on this arrow. You can add a new group by clicking on the plus sign here. Name the group, then press enter. And you can check your group list by clicking here. Organizing and naming your groups. You should be organized from the start. It is best not to mix your message magic contacts with your personal contacts at least until they become friends or join you in message magic or another program. You want to name your folders to suit those already on your contacts list. Now this could be family, personal friends, social, sporting, school, church groups, many others. Business contacts, those in any program you are building and there are many more to choose from. Each time you add a contact or someone adds you as a contact, drag and drop them into one or more of your groups. Treat your Skype groups like a tidy file cabinet. Once all your current contacts are grouped, your ungrouped folder should be empty and ready to receive contacts through Message Magic. You'll want to have some groups already named to accommodate those prospects who accept you as a contact. Examples. Message Magic Received English. Message Magic First Follow Up Sent English. Message Magic Received Spanish. Message Magic First Follow Up Sent Spanish. Message Magic Trying to Contact Me. And Message Magic No Language Listed. And Message Magic Communicating. This way you can properly store new contacts as they accept you. Here are the steps to follow as your Message Magic contacts accept you as a contact of theirs. First, check their profile. Right click on their Skype username and view their profile. There you will see what language they speak if they put it in their profile. If so, drag them into an appropriate language group or create a new one for them. Once you have sent your first follow-up message to a group, it is time to start dealing with them individually and they can be transferred to your Message Magic Communicating group. Finding users who have shared their details. With thousands of usernames in the ungrouped folder, you definitely want a very simple way to see who has shared their details with you. Here it is. Go to the top of your Skype window and click on View. Then click Hide Contacts That Are. Then enable Not Sharing Details. Now you can enable and disable Not Sharing Details whenever you like. Locating and filing your new contacts is a very simple process when you are organized. Thank you for watching this Message Magic training session. We look forward to working with you personally to make Message Magic work for us all.